This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. When Texaco entered Ecuador in the mid 1960s, Ecuador had never drilled for oil. Texaco was the first company to come in and develop oil drilling infrastructure. Their executives made what turned out to be a very fateful decision. They decided to use practices that they were not using in the United States that were substandard compared to what was being used industry-wide at that time around the world. One is they decided to dump toxic water formation directly into the rainforest environment instead of re-injecting it thousands of feet underground like they were doing at that point in other countries. When crude oil is taken out of the ground, it has two parts. One is the marketable crude that goes to the refinery and onto the commercial market. The other is waste product. It's toxic water that contains 2% crude and some of the most harmful carcinogens known to man. Of the 18 billion gallons of toxic wastewater dumped, if you just take the 2% of toxic wastewater that's pure crude, you have an amount of crude dumped that's 30 times larger than the Exxon Valdez spill. If you also include the other 98% of the wastewater, which contains carcinogens, you have an oil disaster the likes of which this world has never seen before. And what's so disturbing about what happened in Ecuador is that this was done deliberately to save money. To learn more about this program, visit www.linktv.org.